bats in this game. How many can be to come? Luko's only a small chap, so he doesn't win it in the air, but he does have it on the ground now. So does Ibrahim. That's where he wants it. Refines a Luko. Luko's ball in. Turning on this one. It's a good effort. Not that one. The roll back from Igalo was good, but the uh, finish from Ibrahim wasn't. They don't have to rely on that. With the Tahiti to come in the last match. The debt hooks the ball safely away up to the halfway line. Ibrahim goes for it. And is awarded the free kick, is he? Yes, he is. Rabiu Ibrahim. Most to the headlines before the tournament and about Nigeria's prospects included stories about Rabiu Ibrahim, but this is his first taste of action. Played more than the 90 minutes of the previous game. No, he came on about the 42nd minute of this match. And he's obviously good on the ball, very confident player, Ibrahim. Three yellow shirts are converging here, Nigeria are backtracking, that's a trip and a penalty kick for Spain. They barely had an attack in this half, but Rabiu Ibrahim has brought the man down here, Herrera, and Spain have a penalty with ten. Yet can make it two. Oh dear. Was Ibrahim really caught? Did Ibrahim really touch the man there? Flick of the boots, Herrera went down rather too easily for me. Two, eight. Here to be a push, the referee waves play on, or allowed the advantage. Rabiu, this exciting young player, number 10 for Nigeria. There he is, surprisingly left out for the opening games, but now he's been given his chance to roam in midfield. A back four, a back two would probably do. And that's because Tahiti is sitting so very deep in this game. Oralesi. Rabiu has hardly got in the match, he's not going to get there. He would have had to be an Olympic sprinter to get there. And he could well be one of the stars of world football in the next three or four years, especially if he gets his dream move to Italy or Spain. That's what the papers are saying. And of course we believe everything we read in the appearance at the group stage and could well head back home after being injured in training here. Rabiu or Alessi. Politics of this under 20 FIFA World Cup is slightly complicated. I'll break off because Rabiu is on the attack here for Nigeria. That's a fine ball into the middle and another glaring miss by Fatai. They could have been four up by now and this could well prove their undoing. And they are eventually eliminated and they watch the replays and they look at the slow motion replays but look at moments like that and say that's why we didn't get much further and to release them and if they're not playing for their clubs they're not getting regular first team football and it's difficult to keep a place in the international team the experiment to play a five-man midfield has just been binned by Charbonnier it's now two up front Moise has just joined Stevie Chongwei in the Tahitian attack. I think Charbonnier has just seen there's a little bit of space at the back there. Might do now. Cheche. Almost found Fatai. Rabiu. Went down. The referee thought about the penalty kick. And then decided Rabiu had made a bit of a meal of it and decided to tell him to get up. There are hundreds of fans. This must be very distracting to the players. And meanwhile, so many of the Egyptian fans have brought drums and whistles and hooters. There's that uh, tackle ill time by Bubar on Rabiu. Seems to go down slightly late, tumbling down. Rabiu. Little back heel by him. Oh, the shot. Not a particularly strong shot by Adeja. Easily saved. A 
And time for another change for Nigeria. Harmony Akande coming on. Harmony Akande was injured in training before the start of the tournament. At the moment. That will spin away off a shin and straight out. Fortunately, Rabiu Ibrahim, who was not included in the starting lineup for the first two games, something of a surprise for him to see it. Uchechi. Square for Ibrahim. It has to be strong to withstand that tackle from Holtby. He's a skinny little lad, is uh, Rabiu. The other on he goes. Oralezi, thrilling run from him. Terrific run from Oralezi. It's into the area. And Ibrahim! Rabiu Ibrahim for Nigeria. Scores his first goal of this World Cup and restores the African advantage. But all the credit really went to Nuruddin Oralezi. He tore a hole in the German defence and as the ball bobbled around, Rabiu Ibrahim, the starring career two years ago at the Under-17 Championships, now comes to the party at Under-20 level. How well did Oralesi do there? And then watch for the ball break. He gets away from the opponent, he swivels and he swings the left foot at it and the ball rockets past goalkeeper Zila. He can do nothing. Stranded. And Germany have conceded two. They come back and try and equalise again. This is where Nigeria must be careful now. Remember, they conceded in the immediate aftermath of getting their first goal. in Cairo. Well, no wonder he's smiling. Bjorn Coplin is the name. And what odds you would have got against that? Haruna losing the ball when Nigeria, from a corner, had a perfect position to set themselves up. Coplin's two goals win Germany it in the second minute of added time and they will meet Brazil in the quarterfinal.